All right, th- uh, this is one of the past year MF question. I think this MF question is uh, from the state paper because actually I discussed this paper. Uh, I I discussed this question last time. So yeah, the student actually like asked me again, and then I'm not sure which state is it. So I decided to make another video for th- this student. All right, this one I'm going I'm going to call it as Tana question. All right, so let's have a look on the questions. All right, so yeah, you uh, have a Diagram 4 show a front view of a tunnel. So the curve of the tunnel is represented by the equations y equals to negative x squared plus 5. And the width of the root is 6 meter. And then the question ba- basically asks you what is the maximum height of the tunnel. So just in case you cannot see the the photo, because the photo actually is quite quite dark. So okay, so basically you have tunnel over here. Right, and then the equation of this tunnel is given, which is y equals to negative x squared plus 5. And then the question actually tells you that the width of the root is 6 meter. So basically, this is the width of the root, which is 6 meter. So you have a 6 meter root here. Yeah, if you can see this. And this equation basically tells us what? Tell us that this equation, because you don't have the bx, in this case, if y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c, when when you don't have the bx, means uh, the curve actually will be symmetries on the lines of y-axis. So that means you will have a curve which will symmetry on the y-axis. That means the, uh, this side and this side, it will be symmetry to each other. Alright, so bx actually is like move left or right for the curve. Right, so this is one very important information. So you have to understand the equation in order to do this question. So let me just draw it nicely over here. Okay. Okay, you have a y axis here and then you have a curve here. Okay, and then because because the y axis is on the meter, so the six meter here actually gives us some information is the coordinate over here. The coordinate over here, I do not know what is the y value, but I know the x definitely is equals to three. So that means you will have a coordinate here, which will actually give you a three meter here and then three meter on the other side. Just assume it is same symmetry. So this coordinate basically is something like 3 and y. Because the importance of this coordinate actually is to help you to find a y value. Of course, you can use this coordinate as well. This one should be negative 3 and y. So what you can do is you just substitute this coordinate into the equation and to find a y, y value here. So let's say I have some, okay. The y equals to negative 3 squared plus 5. So this is y equals to negative 9 plus 5, and then your y you will get negative 4. So that means from the coordinate itself, we actually know that we actually know that uh, this over here, this is 4. The y value here is 4, so I know x axis is somewhere here. It's, I mean it's negative 4. I mean if this is negative 4, the x axis is somewhere here, 0 is here. Then uh, we can know the maximum height here because the maximum height here means is uh is on the y axis mean x equal to zero you just t- do something like substitute zero into the equation you will get which is five and then you get a five here then you can answer the maximum height because the maximum height here actually represents by from the maximum to the minimum here which is from five to negative four uh which is the nine meter so therefore i know the maximum height of tunnel is equals to 5 plus 4 so which is 9 meter all right this question is not really hard but then you need to get the idea uh, what's the meaning for this equation when whenever you have the quadratic equation do not have the bx means it always will be symmetry on the y-axis and then the second information you need to know is how to use a 6 meter here the 6 meter here basically will give you the information about the coordinate and this coordinate actually can help you to know where exactly is the x exit so after you know the x exit you can easily find a maximum point and then you can easily find the maximum height of the tunnel all right i hope this video actually can help you understand better about this kind of kbat question 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know if you have any comment. Thanks for watching.